How we doing today, YouTube? D-Ski from D-Ski Grills back with another cooking video. And do I have a treat for you? Folks, today we are making two prime tri-tips on the Workhorse Pits 1975. Folks, we're gonna smoke these babies over oak smoke until it reaches around 130 degrees. After that, folks, we're gonna use the cowboy grill feature on the workhorse pits, and we're gonna sear those tri-tips off. So you know what we'll do. I'll take you to the cutting board. I'll show you step-by-step step how we're gonna season. I will take you out to that grill, show you that grill setup. We'll get these babies smoked off and seared off, and then back to the cutting board to check out the final product of our smoked and seared tri-tips made on the workhorse pits, 1975. I wanna thank you as always for joining me, and let's get cooking. All right, folks, so at the cutting board is where we are at, right? So here's what we have going on, folks. We have a total of three and a half pounds of tri-tip. That makes up two tri-tips. These are USDA Prime, and all we're gonna do, folks, is get them busted open. Really love tri-tips. Uh, one thing, they are quick to cook. Second off, they are one of the best kept secrets when it comes down to awesome tender beef. All right, so here's what we have. One nice marbled up tri-tip here. Looks like very little trimming, if any at all, is needed. And our second one here. They look good, folks. Really good. All right, so we'll get these on the cutting board. So here's what we got going on. We're going simple. We're going with our olive oil as a binder and then a rub that I haven't used in quite some time now uh, that we get a chance to put on these tri-tips is the bovine bowl, all right? So we're going heavy with the olive oil. Look at that, really nice. Wanna get all the edges. Then we just wanna come back with the Plowboys bovine bolt. Now this is specific for beef. Great texture, great flavor. Used to use this all the time. Found it in the back of my spice cabinet. So you know I had to get this back to the forefront. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go generous on all of the sides. Catch these edges really good. Do the exact same thing to the other side, of course. But let's first do try tip number two. Okay, so we'll move right on over and catch try tip number two. Man, you can just smell the nice peppery notes from this uh, rub. Bovine bold again, just awesome on beef. All right, and get our edges here. All right, and then catch this side here, folks. Like I said, you just don't want to miss getting great seasoning on this beef. All right, and we'll do a light pat on this and this one, then we're gonna flip and catch the other side. So here we go, we'll flip over. Coming back with our olive oil. All right, nice coat on the back side of both of these beautiful tri-tips. Finish all of this stuff up with another coat of bovine bold on this side. It's a beautiful day to be smoking, folks, so I can't wait to go on out here get this 1975 fired up. Really enjoying this grill. All right, same thing on this side or on this tri-tip. All right, folks, so the plan is to let these babies hang out, soak in all these flavors while we go outside now and get that grill set up. All right, beautiful tri-tips, hanging out, ready to do their thing. Meet you outside.
Okay, folks, we are back and I am all kind of excited. We are burning a beautiful clear blue smoke. What we have is seasoned tri tips through and through. Now we're at my favorite part of the video and that's let's get cooking. So what we're gonna do, folks, our grill is now sitting at around 210 degrees on the bottom grate, dead even and around 225 to 230 on the top grate, okay? So let's get this thing opened up. And what we wanna do is with the fat side of the tri tips, we're gonna face those at the firebox, okay? So these things are absolutely beautiful. Look at that, folks. Again, seasoned to perfection. We're gonna get it shut back down to make sure we don't lose our heat. So let's do that. And what we'll do is we'll get back together in about an hour. I'll just manage the fire, right? So we have a beautiful fire going. We have the perfect size logs, like I told you. Really thin logs, right? About three inches this way by about 10 to 12 inches that way, okay? They were nice and warm sitting on the firebox, so they'll catch right away. Continue with that nice, clean, clear blue smoke. And all we're gonna do is infuse this thing until it reaches around 135. Onto the cowboy grill searing function is what we'll do next. I'll see you guys in a bit. Folks, we're back. I wanna show you how the workhorse pits is burning. All right, so check out this thermometer on the bottom. We are sitting right at 250 degrees. All right, let's look at the one on top. We are pretty much right at 300, okay? So I'll back you up and I wanna show you the other side. We are right at around 255, 260 degrees on our bottom right, close to the firebox and right at 325 on our top, okay? So our grill is burning really, really clean, really, really even on the bottom. We are plus or minus five to 10 degrees. And I just wanted to show you that because this Workhorse Pits does a wonderful job. Uh, one of my followers had brought up um, a question about how even the pit does burn, wondering if it needed tuning plates. And I just wanted to show you that this thing here with 3 8 inch steel, does not need tuning plates. It is absolutely amazing. All you have to do is get the fire management side down and you'll be good to go, okay? So this is my third cook on it. I'm getting more and more comfortable with this awesome grill. You can see that clear blue smoke coming out the stack. We are burning a clean, efficient fire and we're gonna have an awesome final result. I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes and then we'll check on the tri-tips. Okay, folks, we are back. We are about an hour and a half into this cook. I wanna go ahead and start checking internal temps, okay? We are still rolling with clear blue smoke. We're at around 250 degrees on this dial, right at 250 again on this dial, okay? Let's see for the first time how these tri-tips are coming along. <clears throat> look at this. Oh my goodness. Folks, these things look amazing. Look at the beautiful color, just beautiful, rich color. That bovine bowl puts a beautiful red mahogany color on your meat. Just an awesome beef rub, okay? So we'll start with the one in the back and see what we have. We're going into the thickest part. And what I have is around one, oh, actually 140. It is time to get going, folks. It doesn't take long with tri-tip. All right, let's check the one here in the front. And we have around 134. 134.2, okay? About six degree difference from one to the next. I'll check the thinner part. You would have think it would probably be hotter, and it is. We got about 145 here, and on the thinner part here, we have about 145, okay? It is time to start doing the searing process. Very quick cook. I mean, tri-tip is awesome, okay? You get a chance to have this awesome, rich beef flavor is what you get from tri-tip. Doesn't take anywhere near as long as a brisket. Trust me, brisket is the king, right? When it comes down to awesome meats, but tri-tip is just a awesome, quick way of getting that beef fix and it's wonderful meat. So let's set up the cowboy grill together. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just put our wood down here. We may be able to get this done with the wood we have inside. I'm gonna grab some gloves real quick. I actually removed the grill grates for the uh, cowboy grill just because when I'm doing regular smoking and not searing, I don't want that to get in the way from me adding logs to the fire. So let's go ahead and get it opened up. Yeah, we may have to add another log, get this thing hot and angry, okay? So here's what we'll do, folks. We'll go ahead and add one more log. All right, and then we'll go ahead and get our grill grates in, let them start heating up. All right.
right, this won't take long. Hopefully you can see how the fire is starting to stoke already. I'll bring you in closer, let you see that. Okay, that's where we're at. We'll bring it on down. So you see what I mean? When you're burning an awesome clean fire, all you have to do is add your warm log and immediately it'll catch fire, okay? So we're not gonna waste a whole lot of time. I need to grab some tongs, but we're gonna go ahead right now and start searing this baby right over those hot coals, okay? So let's get going on that. That means I have to grab this tri-tip and get it on there. Look at that, this is gonna be amazing, folks. No more than a minute, minute and a half on each side is what we're gonna do. And here we go. Beautiful seared tri-tips. Now this will give me a second to run in and get the tongs and then we'll come back and do that first flip together, okay? I'll see you guys in just a second. I'll now folks, how is this for versatility, okay? You smoke your meat on your smoker and you also sear it on your smoker. This 1975 with the cowboy feature is awesome. Let's do the first flip. Look at that. Look at that folks, beautiful seared beef. All right, and we'll go another minute on this side. I hope you can see just this beautiful char we just achieved by cooking right over the fire. This is wood fire cooking, awesome smoking, all in one package, okay? We're gonna let this go for another minute. I'm gonna let it rest, and then I'll see you guys at the cutting board. See you in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back, checking out the final product of our smoked and seared tri-tips made on the Workhorse Pits 1975. Folks, I'm so excited to show you this final product, but let's talk about what we did before we unveil this awesome, awesome goodness. Folks, we started off with two beautiful prime tri-tips. All we did, folks, is we added olive oil as a binder and bovine bold from Plowboys, and we went heavy on both sides, right? We let that sit on the cutting board, went downstairs, and I showed you a little bit about the fire management as far as the size splits that I use on the 1975. By using those size splits, we were able to get an awesome clear blue fire. We got a nice efficient fire, and we were able to cook these tri-tips at right around 250 degrees the entire time. Folks, it took no more than a little little bit over an hour and we were above that target temperature. We were shooting for 135 before we did the searing process. We had 140 on one of the tri-tips and around 133, 134 on the other, okay? It was searing time. If you remember folks, we grabbed those grill grates, we put them on top of that cowboy grill and we went from smoking to searing in a matter of seconds. How awesome is that? We added another split and we had wood fire cooking to finish off these tri-tips. They've been sitting here now folks, we only went a minute and a half on each side until we got a beautiful crust. Now again, they've been sitting here for about 10 minutes, I can't wait anymore. Let's see what these things are all about. Tell you what, this house smells amazing. All right, and what I want to show you is this juice -a -lanch, okay? Hope you can see this. We have juices everywhere, okay? The resting period is so important, all right? These things are going to be just succulent. Now, here's what you have to understand when you're cutting tri-tip. Tri-tip has two different grain patterns, okay? Now, what I'm looking at right here on this tri-tip, this will be the one we're cutting. The grain is going this way, okay? For half of the tri-tip, and then it goes that way, all right? So what we'll do is get this down, Goodness gracious, this looks amazing. It is tender like butter too. Look at this folks. I want you to see awesome smoked goodness, all right? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start right here on our end cut, and I'm just gonna cut slices against the grain. All right, beautiful, beautiful. Just smells amazing, all right? Just amazing. Okay, so what we have folks is a beautiful smoke ring. We have tender, tender, juicy beef, all right? I'm gonna do a taste test. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Bovine bold is the truth when it comes down to beef, all right? You hit it with some beautiful oak smoke like we did today. Take it off of that smoker, sear it off, and this is what you got. You have excellence here, all right? Mm, mm, mm. My goodness. I'm kind of excited. I'm going to get another piece. It's amazing, folks. It's so tender. It's so juicy, okay? Mmm. This Workhorse Pits is a phenomenal grill. 
I'm really happy to own this awesome backyard offset smoker. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what Deesky Grills is up to. And as always, at Deesky Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. Thanks for hanging in there with me on this cook. More and more cooks to come on that Workhorse Pits 1975. I'm about to enjoy me some tri-tip, maybe hook up some good mac and cheese on the side of it. Who knows what we're gonna do. But this is done. Catch you on the next one.